The third plenary session of the 18th CPC Central Committee took place just recently in Beijing. And the story has been covered on various English news outlets as well as domestic media here in China. One particular Weibo story that Chinese Weibo users are talking about, which was also covered in Western media such as Business Week, said that China will set up a committee to better coordinate security issues to tackle the country's security problems. The news broke at the end of a 5,000-character communique that was released last week. The foreign ministry spokesman, Qing Gang, said at a briefing that the purpose of the committee is to ensure the nation's security. Now, it is still unknown what the organization will be like, and there's been some talk that it might be an NSC-like organization. The news sent shares of Chinese aerospace and defense companies higher when the market got a hold of the news. And according to Jing Tan Rong, a professor at Renmin University, the plan would lead to better coordination between the different government agencies and address the problem of a disconnect between the military and civilian leadership. And now let's take a look at what Chinese internet users had to say about this reform. Americans are worried about terrorism on American soil, while China is worried about terrorism against the country. Although it looks the same on the surface, it's two very different concepts. This is another way for China to catch up with the world. How will we implement this? Will we get our answers from America? I think the biggest question is whether this security committee will be used against external threats or internal threats. When I look at the security committees of other countries, they are usually dealing with external terrorist threats. The central government wants to reform, but there are always those who oppose reform and for them, the best way to stop the reform is to incite the public to fight against the reform and look at it negatively. The government must remain steadfast with their reforms and strictly carry out their plan. I think we are probably going to borrow elements from America's NSC. On the one hand, the government needs to loosen its grip to carry out reform, while on the other, they need to keep the nation safe. The country needs this organization to pave the way for further reform. We don't have any specific concrete information about this. Can't say too much, but what I'm interested in is the definition for national security. This is very important. The third plenary session of the 18th CPC Central Committee has been described by some as one of the most important meetings of Chinese leaders in recent decades. According to a director of research at the China Center of the Brookings Institution, the meeting will give China's middle class more opportunities to invest their resources into small businesses and the service sector and make the private sector into one of the driving forces of the country's economic development. Now, almost all of China's top-level government meetings are very low-key, with very few concrete information made available. And while there are a lot of speculation online as to how the country will progress for the next decade, things won't become clear until the various reforms start to slowly take effect.